Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy, also an on one guru and plus coach. I want to show you my technique for getting really awesome Ansel Adams style black and white images using on one photo raw in the effects panel of the software. Okay. It's a little bit different than what I showed you last year in on one photo 10.5. So if you are trying to mimic that, it's not going to work in photo raw, but here is our regular black and white conversion not the best black and white conversion. And here's what happens when you put a color enhancer underneath it and know exactly what you're doing with your color modifications using color for tone. So let's jump in and I'll show you the process. In the past, in On One Photo 10.5, probably around July, August, September of last year, something 2016, I showed you how to make these Ansel Adams esque style black and white images using On One Photo 10.5. Things have changed a little bit in On One Photo Raw. This was brought up in a discussion with someone where they said, Hey, I'm trying to do what you taught me how to do with effects, but it's not working in Photo Raw. And it doesn't. And boo, it doesn't. I'm sorry. But. I will say it works better. It doesn't work the same way, but it works better. So I'm in browse right now. I'm going to click on this black and white example, and I'm going to go straight to effects because develop really isn't going to help me here. I need the artistic effect type look on this image. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize my presets over here because I don't need to see those. I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to show you the old way, the color enhancer. What I used to do with the color enhancer to get this effect was I would drop the saturation down and then I would come down to the color range and I would bump up the colors and I would increase and decrease the brightness in the colors. But wait, nothing's happening right now. Well, when they made the new platform with photo raw, things changed a little bit, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay. We can actually do it a little bit better now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter. The first one I'm going to add is a color enhancer filter. The second one I'm going to add is a black and white filter. If by chance you had the black and white first, no big deal. You can now drag and drop these. So it doesn't necessarily matter where they are in the stack. You can move them at any time. So I'm going to move that color enhancer below here because that's where we need it to be. At this point, I don't need you to do anything with the black and white. Just leave that at black and white. Okay. With the color enhancer, we can do several things here. But the first thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to make these, this dark sky even darker. So I'm going to click on my blues and I'm going to bump up that saturation in those blues and I'm going to make them really dark. And I might even come down here to the range and increase that range a little bit. So we get a little bit more of that range coming in. I can see I have a dust spot here on my sensor. Awesome. Always happens. <laughs> Let's just disregard that for this tutorial. Okay. <laughs> so um, now what I'm going to do is I can maybe increase my temperature to get more of that blue out. Maybe even increase the saturation in the image as a whole. All right. So we got a lot of saturation in this image. If I were to come up here and turn the black and white layer off, look at how nasty this image looks. It does not look good at all. And it's not supposed to look good because what we're trying to do is we're trying to use the color data for our black and white information. And there's much more information here than just going into the black and white data here and manipulating these sliders. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay. So if we come down here to the color enhancer, we can then go ahead and to maybe our yellows and increase the saturation in our yellows to maybe bring about some more of the yellow down here in the trees. And then we can maybe go into our greens and let's make our greens darker. So we'll make our greens darker and our yellows brighter. So our yellows kind of stand out amongst the, the green to give us some depth with those trees down there. The cool difference here is that if we turn the eyeball off on this color enhancer, this is what our black and white conversion would have been. This is more true to an Ansel Adams style, black and white, higher contrast, deeper looking image. Now let's go up here to black and white. I still have blue sliders here, so I can still make that blue even darker, make it even darker right there. Maybe bring up those aquas to bring out some of those clouds a little bit. Okay. If we were to just turn off this color enhancer though, Look at that. We don't get the depth of the blue that we do unless we have that color enhancer underneath that black and white layer to help us control that. So yeah, you do have color sliders here, but are these color sliders near as powerful as the color sliders that you see with color enhancer underneath? Not at all. From here, we can also adjust the tone. So here we can maybe increase that contrast a little bit more, bump up those highlights a little bit to bring out some of the highlights in this area. Maybe knock down some of those shadows, bring them up, knock them down. We'll see, yeah, bring them up a little bit. And then if we wanted to, obviously we can go into adding detail and blacks and whites. The main concept I wanted to show you here though, is that in order to get this style black and white image, you have to have a color enhancer layer underneath a black and white layer. 
I could further push this by adding more filters above it to really get this black and white to where I want it to be. But what I wanted to show you here was just how you need to have this color enhancer underneath the black and white and we no longer need to drop the saturation down in it okay because that's not going to help us if we drop the saturation down we lose all of that data that we had in the blue down there so we need to have that saturation either hiked up or just right there stable at zero okay so if you like this tutorial my name is blake rudis please comment on it like it share it tell a friend some really cool stuff that you can do with your black and white conversions here in on one photo raw so get your hands dirty in it and have some fun thanks for taking the time to watch this i sincerely appreciate it Thank you.